Hello, Royal J2012 here, and welcome to episode 19 of Let's Take a Peek at Some Games. It's the first episode of 2015, so that's good. But anyway, today we're going to look at Star Wars Super Bombad Racing for PlayStation 2, published by LucasArts and developed by its own company, presumably Lucas Learning. Now, this game looks interesting because it's a Star Wars game. But it's also a game featuring comedic turns. You know, just like Star Wars doesn't. Or at least I don't think it does anyway. Unless it's Jar Jar Binks, but almost no one likes him. And yeah, it exists, and it looks... Well, let's find out. The back, the back cover should read... You've never seen Star Wars like this! Nor... Uh, do we want to, though? I don't know, that's the question. We're asking us... You... Take the high speed turns, crazy jumps, and wild gadgets of big head cart racing. What? Jumble it, jumble it with the gravity defying hyperspace pace of Star Wars, and you've got a racing game with an entirely new edge. As one of eight highly styled Star Wars personalities, you'll zip through a galaxy of locations, zapping your friends and beating your opponents in an all out free for all. Filled with crazy power-ups, big air jumps, and even a few surprises. Ooh. And there's the, like the th eight playable characters you can play as. Yeah. Yoda. Darth Maul. S excuse me. For a second. Sebulba. Sorry. Sorry about that. Anakin Skywalker. Queen Amid Amidala. Omi-Wan Kenobi. Boss Nats. And Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> Obviously, he's the best character. Race is one of eight Star Wars characters, each with their own unique personality, vehicle, and racing style. Nine fully detailed tracks filled with living creatures from all over that galaxy, far, far away. Four arenas offer free-for-all duck and dash experience. Over 25 gadgets and power-ups, including boosts, force fields, frontal and rear, rear attacks. Five gameplay modes: race, teams, challenge, arena, race mirror. Yes. Superbombad.racing.com and there's the companies: Lucas Learning, Lucas Arts, and apparently uses the Renderware engine. That's interesting. And oh, it's on a CD again. Goodness, how many CD games would have been made? How many CD games would I have looked at now? I say about five. No wait, let me see. Yeah, that's five or so. This would probably be my sixth. I don't know. Well, we can say that we've done too many CD games. We should probably do a DVD game next time. I don't know. So, this is the info. Interesting. So, let's not waste more time. Let's dive right into Star Wars Super Bombad Racing for PlayStation 2. Okay, this is probably not relevant material, but... This game is only 231 megabytes big. I just wanted to point out because that's almost like that's like double the size of a difficult um, budget game from Phoenix or something. I don't know why it's that big, but we'll probably cross that bridge when we come to it. So, right then, so the game is starting, and yes, we're gonna be getting a big shock or something. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. Yep. I set this to a sort of different bio, so... Ah, here we go. There is no game data for Super Bombard Racing on Memory Card and Memory Card Stop 1. Yes, I know. I did that. This is the logo for them. Lucas Learning. Okay, you can tell it's probably not going to end well, or start well. Yeah, it's very cartoony, as you may have guessed. 
It's also quite weird. Actually, if you think that's Quiluni, then listen to music when it comes up. Which is probably soon. There you go. Listen. This is probably the most this is probably the most inappropriate music for any Star Wars game ever. Also, I think this is meant to be like a sort of like toony version for the um for the a Star Wars theme. Yeah. Let's hit the options. There's quite a bit here. So there's so let's see. I can mention my number of drivers, eight. Number of laps. I don't want I don't want to waste so much time. Operation on or off. On despite the fact that we don't even have much. Do you wanna turn the music on or off? Yeah, okay. Unlock boost break. Uh We're saving. Let's start. Actually, let's see the controls before we start. Let's see it like this. Let's see. X to accelerate. Squares to break. L1 and R2. L1 to boost. R2 to jump. Uh, yeah. I can even improve that. X and square I'll be using heavily. And I'll use L1 heavily too. I'll just keep my buttons on them sort of places where I'm going to use them. You ask it? Let me play this one. Race. Challenge or arena. Yeah, presumably you have to unlock the other mode, so yeah. Race. We have players. Darth Maul. Georgia Binks. Excuse me. I don't have the box with me. And I've... So here we go. It's obvious who we're gonna be playing as! <laughs> we're gonna be playing as Jar Jar Binks, cause why not? Cause why not? Yes. It's uh, it's wonderful. Naboo Swamp, Doom Sea, Thieve City. Let's go to Circuit 1. Let's go to these races. <laughs> this is the most. I like. I hear Cutty Space is so inappropriate for these games. For star Especially in a Star Wars game. Just cause, yeah. A Star Wars game. It's a very serious moment. Serious moments that you wouldn't put like too many music. Over. Even Keith Leary, game audio's like main composer or something, could do serious music. Just listen to his um, Justice League Hero soundtrack. I mean, that was freaking awesome. And it actually fits the mood very well. Replace the music from this game with, with Justice League Hero. Also, why is this loading screen taking a bit while? Ah, here we go. Just when I... Just when I ask for something, it sums up. This is music lagging. Oh well, we'll see. Right then. Right, so here we go, this is the game, I guess. So, yes. Wait, how would you jump exactly? I don't understand why you have to jump when you can fly. Unless you can jump on the over. Yes. How are these items? Let's see. Turtle doesn't do anything. Triangle doesn't do anything. Oh, yeah. R1, apparently. Okay. Also, I'm not even trying to get it first. Let's just get first. Right, so basically, yeah, this is like this is the game, I guess. Yeah, actually, it's not really that bad of a game, really. At least it doesn't feel too bad, anyway. This is the, this new, this, this, this design. Who thought this was a good idea? I don't know why I just wasted all my item, but I guess I did something. And I had us to also, oh, why am I only second? 
I see. I guess I will serve. That's me. That's Jar Jar Pinks. Next race. What do you think of this game's graphics? Because to me, I feel that they look. So Anakin Skywalker was the. This music. No, anyway, Anakin Skywalker was the winner of this race. I was only. I only came in second. I, I did better than Saboba, Boss Nas, Obi Wan Kenobi, Queen Amidala, Yoda, and Darth Maul. Okay. Deckard. Let's go to the continue circuit. And not listen to that music, because that, that's very uh, that's very inappropriate for this game. Seriously. <laughs> Could you imagine if you put this music on, oh, I don't know, um, Lord of the Rings? <laughs> I can't imagine that. I can't imagine that being in Lord of the Rings, or Harry Potter, or or even the freaking, um, what's that? what other games were doing? What are serious films? What are films for, like, um, maybe, um, oh yeah, and what about Guardians of the Galaxy, what about Spider-Man, what about Spider-Man, um, what about just, what about DC Comics, oh, no, no, there's these, um, sort of, yeah. Probably know who they are. It's just couldn't. What is this? This reminds me a lot of Star Wars Episode 1 Racer, except, except on PS2. And I can play as Jar Jar things. And the music is too. is too toony. Why is it toony? I don't get it. This makes no sense. Ha, I'm first. Oh, first and second. I'm first. I'm so oh, no, I'm not. I'm only second. I just got a big green cube. This this gate this music. This that music. Cool friggin' music. And I even trying to get first. Oh, yes. Although I'm probably gonna get determined. I wonder how many people in I wonder whoever played this game have they ever played as Jar Jar Binks. Only as a joke. Oh yeah, Jar one. We're gonna have a boost, we're not this time it wasn't. The complete run I had a boost. Even though I was only 9 minutes in. And when you don't have when you don't have any boost you can you can make it the most annoying sound in the world. Actually, that's not the most annoying sound in the world. I'm pretty sure Lloyd did it in the um Dumb and Dumber, which I already which I've seen this morning actually. I've seen the other day, which I've seen this morning, so we're on. Right. Almost. Are you in second? Who won? Oh, cool. I'm the circuit leader, apparently. Good for me. Except everybody wants Kenobi won this voice. Making me the winner. Although are they gonna be like although are they going to be like bronze, silver or gold medals? Like in Mario Kart. And why do I compare all why do I care this racing to Mario Kart? Oh yeah, because it's a racing game. And that's uh, fair. Right. 
Answer is probably not. Anyway, look at these droids. And look at all this stuff flying in the sky. And look at the backdrops and stuff. While we wait for the game to load. Yeah, my whistle links quite well. I've been practicing it quite a bit. So, yeah. Can you whistle? Do you ever play whistle when you're playing... Do you ever whistle when you're playing Scrabble with, like, Carl Pilkington once did? Ah, uh, here we go. Squirm! There's a cue in that. That's worth 10. I mean, what's this? Roger, Roger. Oh, I see. It's a little race. Can we skip this? Yeah, you could. Good day! It's a very heavy race, so so it's probably gonna. We're already on the last race, so let's go. I'm first already. Uh -huh. but, oh, I didn't realize you can restart the core circuit. That's all. Ha. Oh, give me a break. Give me a freaking break. Throw me a freaking stone. I mean, bone. I can't believe it. I. You know what? Let's go to the. Let's go to the. Um. This is karma. You are quite. Let's go to the rat race that we just, uh, I accidentally quit, thinking that that would make restart the game. Let's go to that race again. Because I accidentally quit on that. And it's good that you can actually start races without actually um, having to like do stuff, because that's good. I'm not going to be bothered with beating them all in other races, but... We'll check out the other modes, and then we'll probably switch off, okay? I'll beat this race. Uh, I'll be determined to beat this race. It's like you have to be quick. But I suppose you always have to be quick when you're like, playing a racing game. Because if you don't be quick, then nothing well is going to happen. Yeah. If nothing well happens, then life's ruined forever. And then I stream forever. Then nothing well can happen anymore. Cause you'd probably be dead. Ah What jump cut sorry about that. She said I got interrupted with there, so let's not get interrupted anymore. Let's go! Oh. Max and we just I hate the music in this so much. Not that you can hear it, because there's too much sound. Oh. I see. That was a very slow race. This is a slow race today, isn't it? It's very heavy on you. Wrong way. I guess when it saves that, it's probably true. I'm in first person view. You're making noise whenever you press circle. Actually, when I said earlier about the um, annoying something sign of the world, that's I'm mouth lying. This from well, like. Thank you. 
listen to this. Why do you listen to Jar Jar Binks? It's, it's, it's pure, it's murder. I just lost all my boost. Somehow. No, any... Any race that takes more than two minutes to do a lap is just having a laugh. Ah. You know what, this just took one... This took nearly two minutes and I can't be bothered to do a race. Yes. Call me a noob, but... That's how life works. You know how life works? Listening to this music again. It's a challenge. Did not say challenge races. Oh well. That's my fault. That's really interesting. Oh, I see. It's like the battles mode in them. The mode um, Mario Kart or whatever games that happen to have battle modes. Makes sense to me. Yeah, we're loading this race then. Well, not, sorry, not race, I mean Battle Arena. Rumble Arena, if you're like one of those Digimon people. You know, that was a good PS1 game. I still have it in my collection. Ah. Mm. Let's get this. this is, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, isn't it? There is a battle mode. Seriously, I really want to kill the, the. I really want to. I wonder why the, the, the composer of this music isn't dead. Why should I save her? I'm going to try to avoid these. I'm seven apparently, even though this is a battle race. Yes, you don't, apparently, I think. Let's see, can we escape the same? Nope, not even if you try. Let's see. What if we put all our what if we put all our sort of what if we put all our strength on it? Probably escape this if you, have, if you hack the game very heavily. Don't pick up considering that was nice. I've been eliminated apparently. Try again, George Jumpings. No, don't bother. Everyone hates you. I want to become seventh. Let's quit this. Let's read the credits, because why not? This music. This music's so. I like how the credits are started, by the way. They're like, sort of, like Star Wars. Like Star Wars. By the way, Peter McConnell, uh, your music's too um, unmatching for this game. For these kind of games. Peter McConnell. Although it is good, you make this music too irrelevant. I know it's meant to be humorous, but come on, it's Star Wars. If you put it in a proper Star Wars film, this better not. This music better not be in the new Star Wars film. Although I'd kind of assuming that already. So yeah, why is 
this tester called Scott Glasgow. There's like a ton of them actually. Wendy Kaplan was one of the CD running goddesses. Oh, Jake Lloyd actually did play Ellen Skywalker in this. And Dre Delisle played one of the characters, and so did. Uh, yeah. At least they got the sort of play. At least Jake Lloyd came to voice the old Anakin Skywalker. Luke Skywalker. Uh, Kylo, uh, Skywalker, but it's just called that. Very special thanks to George Lucas. Uh, I bet you the composer would. I bet you George wouldn't be very happy with this sort of composition. Compose, composition. Yeah. Anyway, I better give up my final verdict then. Well, what did I think of the game then? Well, the game's not that bad, really. I mean, it's sort of enjoyable, and you can have a bit of a laugh with it. You can bring some bat pals if they really enjoy Star Wars, and probably play it. I mean, my dad's a bit of a fanatic of Star Wars, so yeah. He probably enjoy it, or maybe he won't. I don't know. But yeah, but anyway, but my but my least favorite part of this game, in my opinion, um, is the um, old music. The music in this game is like so like off off like the game. The music in this game is like so um unfitting. It's not even funny. Like if if you're gonna have a Star Wars game, a good a. A friggin' Star Wars game, you you think you'd have music that's like <clears throat> sort of like serious and actually put you in the mood to do stuff. Okay, that was a horrible description, but whatever. You know what I mean. I think. But yeah. Basically, um it's a good game, but yeah, the music's weird. So this is World of Jake signing out, I guess.